are listening to Drops of the Lectionary, a daily meditation program of the Word of God brought to you by Adal, the apostolate of the laity in the Archdiocese of Douala. Lord, as I begin a new day and a new week, let your word be the light to guide my steps for the greater glory of your name. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 4, verses 32 to chapter 5, verse 8. Be generous to one another, sympathetic, forgiving each other as readily as God forgave you in Christ. As God's dear children, then take him as your pattern and follow Christ by loving as he loved you, giving himself up for us as an offering and a sweet-smelling sacrifice to God. Among you, there must not be mention of sexual vice or impurity of any form or greed. This will scarcely become the holy people of God. The Word of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we are all different from each other. We have different stories to tell. We were each raised differently, even from the same parents and family. No two humans are the same. Situations of our past affected us differently. We all have shortcomings and weaknesses that often get in the way of our relationships. For this reason, it is difficult to predict even our own actions and reactions when faced with certain situations. As such, in order to be at peace with ourselves and with others, we are always struggling to get our actions right. We try to stand when we fall, we try to mend our broken relationships and cure our wounds when we get hurt along the way. My brothers and sisters, as Christians, we have a better and a much peaceful way in Christ, St. Paul assures us this morning. Life is not meant to be a battle with ourselves and with others. Yes, it is possible to live without being controlled by our vices and our impurities. It is possible to live without being controlled by greed. St. Paul writes to the Ephesians and to us as well. This is because we are beloved children of God, called to live in imitation of Him. So we can be generous, sympathetic, and forgiving of each other if we use as model God's own forgiveness of our waywardness. In the same way, the extent of showing love and kindness is that which Christ himself showed us when he gave himself up for us as an offering and a sweet-smelling sacrifice to God. My brokenness your brokenness and weaknesses have no power over us if we set our hearts on God and on his ways. That is how God heals our wounds of sin and division. So by letting his word guide our lives, by taking on ourselves the full meaning of being Christians, we gradually become children of light in a broken world, suffering under the influence of violence and hatred and vengeance. 
Yes, Christ is our peace. The letter to the Ephesians reassures us once more this morning. May his peace always dwell in our hearts as we seek to do his will in all things. Prions le Seigneur. Seigneur Jésus, autrefois nous étions ténèbres. Maintenant en toi, nous sommes lumière. Donne-nous de trouver notre joie et notre paix tant recherchée en faisant ta volonté en toutes choses. Amen. Que Dieu Tout-Puissant vous bénisse, le Père, le Fils et le Saint-Esprit. Ici l'Abbé Michael de la Dalle.